Greetings and greetings, my friend. I guess I will see you guys before the new year, today after Christmas, and it's still cold in Florida, bro. It's like 30 degrees outside right now, but I gotta get this content out. And before I get this out, there's something that I must confess to y'all that I haven't in previous times, and it's that Hybrid Racing is your one-stop shop for everything K-Swap, K-Series related that you will need for your build. You need headers for your car? Got that. Oh, you need K-Pro? Got that. Oh, you need shift cables? Got that. You need a shifter? Got that. You need an air intake? Got that. You need a battery relocation? Got that. You need a new shirt? Got that. You need a hoodie? Got that. You need an entire K-Swap package? Got that. You need AC? Got that. Oh, you need a discount code? Got that. Just use code Zosh at checkout and save 5% off. All the money you save from your order, just give it to me. More of the front end part out is uh, pretty much complete. P1 lift is sold, headlights are sold, OEM, beautiful, nice. Everything besides the front bumper is sold because the front bumper is actually clapped, has a big ass hole in the middle. And uh, once I remove the P1 lip, there is more damage on the uh, front bumper. But other than all, the whole entire front end is gone. We're gonna have to get everything painted. Ooh. Man, look at that. Look at all the ashiness. It's crazy. Paint still man underneath. So I'm gonna have to remove the headlights today and the P1 lip, which is simple. Well, no, we gotta get rear brake pads done on baby girl's car. So her thing's squeaking like a crackhead. Mm -hmm. What's up, putos? Ooh. Today we're doing my car. <laughs> She working on her car? That's crazy. Keep jacking. Go ahead. Oh yeah, you almost there, mama. Keep jacking. We almost there. Yeah. Yep, yeah, keep going. Uh oh. Keep going. We good. Mm-hmm. More. 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 I'm Keep going. I'm getting there. Let me put y'all on game real quick. You know how most companies charge like 40 to $50 for like mechanic chairs and all that stuff? Nah, fam. Go to your local Ross for $7. You get you a little, a little chair. You know what I mean? When you're doing brakes, you sit down on it. You can chill, babe. I don't know the weight, I don't know the weight of this thing, but uh, if you need a little mechanic chair, it ain't got no rolly, rolly, rolly with a diamond wrench, but uh, we can now do brakes while not sitting on the floor ruining our clothes. Oh, yeah. All right, look at that rear brake, bro. What brake? There's nothing left. This thing, it, luckily it hasn't been, um, hmm? no. there's no grooves in the uh, rotor, so that's pretty good. Just gotta get these rear pads replaced. And I should have her do it. You wanna do your rear brake pads? Mm-hmm, give me some clothes. You gonna do it for real? Give me quads. Uh, ooh. Passion breeds quality. That's right, girl. That's right. Hey, what do you think? You said to do this bowl. I said this bowl. Oh. <laughs> We're about to be break. Oh, man. <laughs> now, what you gotta do? Oh, you did it. You did it, girl. Oh, you finna work on your own. She finna do, she finna do her break, y'all. All right, bruh, look at these brake pads, bruh. Dude, gonzo. These things were gone. Oh, damn. Oh, you're gonna need rotors. Damn, look at that. Oh, man. All right, so I went by O'Reilly's to get this little disc brake caliper tool set thing, but I don't know. I don't have the actual like retracting piston thing to do the rear brake, so I rented this, and uh, it's what we're gonna do. I will have baby girl do it, but she don't have, end up having a damn aneurysm trying to do this, so why not let your boy just do it and mess up her car so then she don't get no blame and I get blamed for it. You know how boyfriend role type shit is, but y'all know how it is, bruh. Yeah. Well, while she go test drive her brand new car, I go test drive my eyes on this beautiful, 
Bro, this is just gorgeous, man. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to uh, get these rolled a lot. So you can see right there, if I have them out a lot, I'm gonna get them rolled. I'm gonna ship the homie Grubs, have some time to roll these, flare these bad girls out. If these are true FD2 uh, front, uh, I, I'll clear easily. Well, not easily, but you get plus 10 mil like of width, whiteness, so. Yeah, I'm gonna have to flare these out so they can look like FD2. So I'm gonna hit up Ryan and see when we can uh, lock in for that. Aside from this whole YouTube and car thing, I've been low-key collecting sneakers again. Another hobby of mine, it's sneaker collecting. I am a little bit of a sneakerhead. Back in high school, I had all types of Jordans. I had fours, I had threes, I had sevens, I had elevens, bro, I, I, I was in my Jordan bag. And then when I got my first car, which was a 95 Civic, I sold my breads. I sold my band ones, breads. Well, bread ones, band, yeah. I sold my bread band ones for, I think, a set of wheels or something like that. I was hustling my shoes for car parts. Uh, the last time I picked up the camera, we was doing brakes on her car or something like that. So we just left, we just came home from the mall. I picked up some New Balance 550s and a set of Hirachis for the gym because I needed some new gym shoes. I needed some running shoes. And I picked up some Hirachis that I think I might have to go size up because I think they're a little small. But anywho, I'm going to show you guys my little collection that I've been brewing for the last couple of months, year, I think, or so, something like that. I don't know. All right, so check me out. This is episode one of Zosh's Closet. You know what I mean? If y'all, yeah, f*** it. Let me turn the camera over. These are all my shoes. This is what I've been accumulating. Well, I've, well, the top row I've accumulated over the past year. Let's start with the most expensive shoe here. And that is these Aldi slides. These are prime time, the best slides. These cost me like $2,000. But then I got a discount. It was like 95% off. So I got them for like, I think $12. Shit's fire though. Top row, as you guys see, I'm a huge fan of the Yeezy 350s because I got two pairs of 700s and then three pairs of the 350s. I got semi-frozen yellows, the breads, and I got the zebras. I got these like a couple weeks ago. Unfortunately, I have no more space to put up everything else. So what I'm gonna do is, I, found, I went on Amazon, I found some container shoe cabinet things that I'm gonna end up probably ordering here fairly soon actually, probably today. Cause first row, I have my Yeezy, second row is all my Vans. I love these. I did a yellow lace swap because I think the yellow lace is just go fire with these right here. These are like probably my top five bands of all time. Then I got these for Christmas from my sister-in-law. She got me some um, old schools. I've ruined my first pair. As you see them over there, I think it's clapped out city. But I uh, got me a second pair. And then I got yacht clubs. I like the yacht clubs. These are fire. These are pretty fire. I like those. And you got You got to have this in your collection. And I did a pink lace swap. I like the color scheme of that blue with the pink. It just it just looks good. Then I got back when in my Tony Hawk days, I had got these with the cushion and soles because these are just fire. I like these shoes a lot. They're comfortable and they look good. Yeah, you gotta have you a pair of black and white. Bottom row, I got my Adidas. I like these, I like the color of these. Then I got these right here, these Adi, the Adi Pros, I think they're called. I don't really wear these much. I wear the hell out of my black ones though. I wear the hell out of it. I love black with gum bottoms. Gum bottoms are just fire. I don't know, I just like the gum bottom look. If you're around the age of 27, 28, maybe even 30, in high school, you had to have a pair of these. Hell, maybe even middle school if you're still watching. Everyone got a pair of these in their collection. Whether it's a collection or not, you own a pair of these. I got the high tops of the old schools. So I got them in high, the skate highs. And then bottom row, I got nothing but uh, Asics. I got gel lights all down there. These were like my gym shoes for the longest time. Got some blue ones, got some black ones, and I got these green ones. Then I got my holy grails. These right here are my grails. Black cement threes. These are my favorite Jordans ever made. I paid $500 for these like two years ago. I didn't care. I got them off, uh, I think Stadium Goods. I think they were Stadium Goods. I, I didn't care, bro. I, I I needed these. I these are my favorite Jordans of all time. I needed them. I got these Motorsport fours. Uh, my favorite fours of all time are bread fours. I'm waiting to get those. But the price on those right now, bro, I don't love bro. Hey, bro. But yeah, Motorsport fours. I wear these a lot. Then I got my slip-ons down there, pro cushions as well. Then I got some Chuck Taylors. I call these the Paul Walkers, baby. Gotta have a set of Paul Walkers in your collection, son. Gotta have a Paul Walkers. Then you got a Snoop Doggy Dogs. And then you got my Crocs. You got some size 12 shoes. If we go to like Disney or something, I'll throw these on because these are 
size 12, I'm a size 11, but these are, they fit really nice and they're comfy for like long ass walks and stuff. And then my Reeboks gym shoes. I like these. These are really good for like, if you're doing uh, squatting and things, but not running. These are not, these are kind of heavy for running shoes. But in here, in these boxes, I got a set of pandas. I got the lows and then I got the highs. Pandas are the most hype dump in human history, but they look good. So it is what it is. And these are today's pickups. I picked up some five fitties in black and white. I like this uh, simple color around these. I want to get the shadows as well, but uh, yeah, these are really nice. The New Balances have really gone on me over the year. I'm like, oh, I think I should get a pair. And then we went out to dinner and I was like, let's go to the mall. And then I ended up just taking home a pair of five fifties. I also got some Hirachis for gym shoes but I got a size up. I didn't know Hirachis ran small. These are a size 11 and I need to size up to 11 and a half. It's my first ever pair of Hirachis. They yeah, like them. I got these stained glass SBs that I actually cut because I didn't like the flap, so I just cut the flap, but I'm probably gonna end up donating these shoes. I actually wanna donate a lot of these shoes. Probably gonna donate like a couple pairs of shoes that I don't really wear, like the red Adidas, uh, my Asics. I don't really wear my Asics at all, so I'm probably gonna donate those. It'd be cool if I can find somebody like that really needs them, like a homeless man or somebody that's going through a tough time to give them to them, but they can have some nice shoes on their feet. It would be pretty cool if we can find somebody to donate them to. These are all my hoodies. I have a bunch of hoodies and shirts and all that stuff. My most favorite hoodie is the Dove Gap hoodie. This thing is fire. Oh, and that hoodie, look at Babe showing out. Yes, sir. That Zosh MFG windbreaker race till death. The Japanese writing on the back of the windbreaker means speed racer. So if you ever wonder like, what does Japanese, does it mean death? No, it just means speed racer. But yeah, man, this is my little collection. Now I know what you're thinking. I have over thousands of dollars worth of shoes, but I want y'all to know I have a plug. You know what I mean? I get I get a good deal on my stuff. When you get to be like a YouTuber, I think, I guess like people would like, I don't know, they wanna, you know, give you love and stuff like that, so, yeah. <laughs> it is the next day, and I'm cooking up some lunch right now. Check me out, boy. Woo! Paki Mao. Paki Mao, AKA Drunken Noodles. Bro, I am a sucker for some drunken noodles. This might be the best batch that we've made so far. Don't mind that white noodle, we just threw that in there. I made this. I did this. You feel me? I seasoned it, and I cooked it. With the help, of course, but you know that. <laughs> Lunch is ready to roll, baby. Update on the kicks. We woke up this morning to go do an exchange for the Hirachis that I got and I ended up picking up another set of 550s. Never fails. So, I picked up the all white joints. I don't have a pair of all white shoes and this is the closest thing that I would rock to an all white. I like these though. I mean, they look like dad shoes and everything. I like these though, these are nice. So I got these. With Hirachis, I wear a size 12 in Hirachis, bro. These are 11. All my other shoes are 10 and a half, 11, but in Hirachis, they fit so small that this is a size 12. If you're a sneakerhead yourself, comment down below, hit me up on the gram. You know what I mean? If you got some bread for a size 11, let my girl know so she can buy them for me. Valentine's Day right around the corner. <laughs> she washing her own car, y'all. That's right. That's right. Now to clean up all this mess and the street cat. Fred, dog. Huh? What? what is this? That might be my thumbnail, bitch. The new, the new pickup. <laughs> it ain't my pickup, but it's the new pickup. <laughs> so this is Fred's new 2000. What year is this? 2006. 2006 Evo 9 MR Final Edition. <laughs> he got the new plate on. They do make a final edition though. For real? I th yeah, I'm sure. In the 10, probably. They did one too. They did one too. So it made a final edition. I think nine. it's like, yeah, I think it's like, like comparing this to Honda, this would be like a GSR, I think. A no. Edition EG no. Or final. Yeah. SIR maybe? I don't know. And hey, what's that smell? Oh, you already got a double dent in here? Yeah, oh, you straight. Go. What's that smell though? Damn, it's a big ass wheel. I 
this clean though. I feel like this is like cleaner than the other one, like interior wise. It's a lot cleaner. Yeah, it is. Just gotta get that new shifter though. I thought they said you they gonna send you one. This is just like so much cleaner though. This just look good. Like this just look clean. I put the catch can on. I might just get into the catch can. Since the battery's in the back. Oh yeah, you ain't got the battery right here. Yeah, it's burning oil or something. You can smell it. Oh no. I added oil. And you yeah. spilled it? Yeah, but I spilled it on the fucking oh. on the downpipe shit. And yeah, it this, was a fork. Yeah. yeah, this is way cleaner than the red one. This is the eight front bumper, right? No, it's nine. This the nine front bumper? Oh it is a stupid. Nine got Yeah, it's a nine front area. That yeah. shirt, you feel me? <laughs> yeah, this was much cleaner though. What are these 18s? Yep. 225 40. Damn, you're gonna have to run like some 245s. Beefy setup. They look good though. I mean, it should look good. What y'all think of Fred's new come up? You, you made a video about this yet? Are you going to make a video about this? I don't know, I guess. I don't know. Oh, oh, what's wrong with YouTube, bro? Well, they keep happened? forgetting, bitch. YouTube ain't my job, bitch. <laughs> I ain't got to post it. I don't want to post it. God damn me. I post when I feel like it. <laughs> I do that shit when I'm bored. <laughs> You're really stupid, bro. That shit look good, though. I like it. It look good. What's happening? Y'all know what it is. It's the outro, baby. Quick little uh, update, she digs. 3 p.m. tomorrow, the 28th, December 28th, 3 p.m. I will be doing a live podcast with the homies over at Koenig on their YouTube channel. Link down below in case you want to watch that and maybe ask some questions. I think, I don't know, I've never been a part of a podcast. I, whoa, this will be like, it's my third one. I did it uh, downtime with Downstar. Never mind. But this is like my first podcast this year. Interesting. So yeah, if you want to watch that, link down in the description box below to Koenig. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, we got some great things planned for 2023 and all that fun jazz. And again, shout out to Hyper Racing for sponsoring today's video. I love you guys. Thank you. <laughs> I will send the invoice December 31st. I love you, Otto. <laughs> And that's pretty much wraps for this video. So we pretty much got the Integra sh front end completely stripped. There's no fenders on the car. There's no front bumper on the car. There's no headlights on the car. There's no side skirts on the car. There's a lot of things missing from the car. What am I doing? Am I going job front? Oh my God. Am I going job front? <gasps> Dude, what if I find like a deal on a job? No, I can't. No, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm not going job front. I'm just redoing the entire front end with just all new fresh parts. That's pretty much what I'm doing. Unfortunately, I did sell my P1 lip, so I don't know what lip I'm going to run on the car, and I'm thinking about putting the Mugen Gen 2 spoiler back on the Integra and taking off the Jays Racing and putting the Jays on the Civic. But if I put the Jays on the Civic, that means I have to put the Civic in a storage place because I am not going to put that wing and let the outside Florida heat oxidize the hell out of that thing. Not happening. But anywho, that's pretty much wraps for this video. And also, if you place any order on ZashimFG.com, I will send you this free Momo's uh, steering thing. You have until tomorrow, I guess. Any order placed in the next 24 hours, I'll just include this random horn button and whatever I can find in my room that I think would be cool for you guys to have. So that's an, that's a great marketing scheme to get some more merchandise. So I have hella merch. So if you need that. I got you. I showed you guys a new sneaker collection hobby thing that I've been brewing for the last two years or so. And yeah, I don't know, just something different. Little cars vlog, lifestyle vlog, things of that nature vlog. And I'll be sure to catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Peace.